Well, in honor of Native American History Month, Central Lakes College in Brainerd invited activist Winona LaDuke to campus. Our Taylor Archer went to her presentation and spoke with LaDuke earlier today. About 200 people filled the auditorium at Central Lakes to listen to the American activist, environmentalist, economist, and writer to hear about her recent work and stance on today's issues. Incredible excitement from students, from our employees, and from the region. Um, uh, folks have been asking for probably four or five years to bring Winona and Leduc to our campus. Today's an informational presentation. There are a lot of people. I, you know, I'm, I've been working both um, here in northern Minnesota and on the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota. LaDuke's presentation covered a variety of current topics and also served as a history lesson for students. Better understanding of American Indian history and uh, the struggle and the fight. Um, it's 2016 and that, that struggle isn't over. The fight for sovereignty, the, the fight to protect land. And with all the attention on the Dakota Access Pipeline as of recently, LaDuke stressed the simple yet necessary importance of protecting our water. This is our land and I'm going to stand for it. All those people are trying to do is to protect the water. And that's what this is about, is their right to protect the water. One of Central Lake's goals is to educate students and the community on all current issues, and they believe that hosting LaDuke today allowed them to do just that. It helps us meet one of those goals to honestly inform students about what's happening in this country historically and currently. I am hoping that students will be informed and inspired as well as the general public. And perhaps the community gained more insight from her presentation today. In Brainerd, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. LaDuke also encouraged the CLC community to get involved to help protect and defend the natural land. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.